Hi everyone, Callum here, a farm manager at Wimpole Estate. We're doing a bit of an environmental trial today uh, with some under sowing mixtures. So let me just explain what that is and how it's going to benefit the nature on the farm. So the machine that Albert is on now is doing two jobs. It's under sowing small seeds of clover and vetch and trefoil into this barley. And the idea being is that they will slowly germinate underneath the canopy of the barley. What that'll do for the soil is provide nutrients and improve the soil structure, but also it will provide a late season pollinator plant for the pollinators in sort of September, October time. But at the same time, that machine is also doing some weeding for us. If you look down here, you can see that this little plant here a small charlock plant has been ripped up, but the barley plants next to it have still stayed intact. So here's the menu for the third part of the trial. So we've got different types of clover, trefoil. Both of these things will flower late into the season, but also fix nutrients into the soil and improve the soil structure. So the harrows themselves looks like they're damaging the crop and um, why do we want to do that? But if you look closely, whilst it looks a bit harsh, these crops are fine. They're still very well rooted into the soil. So actually, they're not damaging the crop at all. And in a few days, this crop will look exactly how it was meant to do. The crops bounce back really well from harrowing. It's kind of like it kicks them into action. So we want to understand which is the best combination of plants for under sowing that give those benefits to nature but also benefits to the soil and are really part of a, some of the fabulous farming measures that we put in place here at Wimpole to show that environmental farming and profitable farming can be the same thing.